sign proclaiming it was the last of the city and the salmon capital of the world. We're gonna pass by Sam's fine jewelry on our left hand side. Give them a wave and a clap. Hey, there they are, Sam's fine jewelry. A handmade jewelry from all over the world. You can visit them after the tour. They'll give you guys a free gift, a pearl pendant. Just for visiting, let them know that you've got the, the name catchy can is a indigenous phrase to be Southern Wings of the Eagle. That's where the catchy can's are on the boat. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Laskan First City Ketchikan. So today's vlog is going to be very interesting because I'm going for a duck tour today. So please don't skip the video and subscribe my YouTube channel so you will get in touch with my all videos. So I'm just waiting here for the duck bus. It's a bus and uh, boat combo and later you will see how the bus will go into the water. And the good thing about this tour is the bus goes from the main city downtown. So we can see some of, of the beautiful views of the city and I have been so many times here but I never been in the city I always went to the Walmart so it's a good chance to see the city as well so guys my tour is around 9 30 in the morning right this is a meeting point here and we will meet our tour guide at 9 here and our tour code is 660 and now I can see our tour guide right there Guys, this is our tour bus and all the people are already lined up over there and I need to go also. So I'm very excited this time for this tour. And there are I think ladder to go up. This year's Bryce is gonna tell you all there is to know about Catch Can. Might take you about three minutes. <laughs> Keep in mind it's a 90 minute tour, he might repeat himself. <coughs> Alright, Coast Guard has a couple of things they want me to make sure that you folks know. There are 49 adult life jackets on board, 6 along the back wall with the 5 seats in the back. The extra one there is for Bryce. 2 underneath each and every set of seats, just pull a bunch of cord under your seat, life preserve comes free. Hey, child life jacket. All right, here, no sunglasses. Good. And your sunscreen, you don't want to get a sunburn out here all these rays. You guys don't know you're on an island right now called Rovilla Gagato. Who knew that they were on an island? Anybody? Okay, we got one person in the back that did their homework. Two people. Rovilla Gagato, three people. It's growing. You guys are, what's going on here? You guys are Googling it? Rovilla Gagato is about the size of Rhode Island. 35 miles wide, 50 miles long. 98% of it is wilderness. So this two little 2% is catch a can. Revilla Gagato, can you guys say that with me? Revilla Gagato. Excellent. It's like Worcestershire sauce. You can say it fast. And nobody knows whether you said it right or wrong. I still don't know how to spell it. Revilla Gagato, that's a, named after the Viceroy of New Spain. You guys remember New Spain, right? Well, been there. So Mexico used to be called in 1796. George Vancouver discovered the island of Revilla Gagato. Named after his buddy. The Viceroy of New Spain, Revilla Gagato. But back then it was called the Ketchikan Creek. For hundreds of years, Ketchikan Creek here was used as a summer fishing camp for the Haida. The summer, they're entering the spawning grounds, they're entering the, the fresh water. The eagles have been following them upstream, as well as the bears. Um, well, have you guys seen Creek Street yet? Has anybody visited the salmon run? There's so many salmon, you can reach down there with your bare hands and grab a piece of salmon if you want. We're gonna get a good look at them. We're gonna drive over the waterfall. We'll drive past the spotting grounds and we'll talk about it. We'll get a good look. Our peak salmon season is late July to early September. So it's peaking right about now. I would say last week was probably our, the height of the salmon run. Okay, next side. This is the Thundering Wings of the Eagle Total Pool. Carved out of cedar by Nathaniel Jackson, the local resident. But uh, the, the name Catchy Can is a indigenous phrase that means thundering wings of the eagle. That's where the Catchy Can Total Pole gets the thundering wings of the Total Pole gets its name. The city named Catchy Can. 
This is our sourdough bar. This is the oldest bar in Ketchikan. They got a wall of maritime mishaps. So you go in there later today, grab a pint, you can check out all the sea vessels and nothing ill fates. The home of the old spruce mill, where the lumberjack show is today. Is anybody going to see the lumberjack show? Or already seen it? Well, if you had or if you were going to, then it's on this part of the tour. It's at our right into ahead of us. We're gonna pass by, we're gonna pass by Sam's Fine Jewelry on our left hand side. Give them a wave and a clap. Hey, there they are, Sam's Fine Jewelry, a handmade jewelry for all over the world. If you visit them after the tour, they'll give you guys a free gift, a pearl pendant, just for visiting. Let them know that you are with the Tuck Tour. You're a VIP. As I mentioned, the island is 98% wilderness, right? That's why the mill was here harvesting the lumber from the, the spruce trees. If you want to learn more about the largest temporary rainforest in the Pacific Northwest in the world, you can do so on the left side right here. This is the Southeast, the Alaska Southeast Discovery Center. Five dollars to get in, kids get it for free, but it's the only building in town that can get wet indoors. So bring your rain gear, keep it with you. You guys can see how well the, the, the economy has benefited from the tourist industry. The state-of-the-art brand new fire department. With 164 inches of rain every year, it doubles as a museum. This is our federal building that paint that salmon colored building is not pink. Everything is salmon themed in the salmon capital of the world, including the donuts. If you that jelly filled donut and you think it's raspberry, it might have caviar in it. This is our Episcopal Church, the white church on the left. This is the old coastline of Texas. Everything beyond that church is built up on concrete steel pylons. I'll pass around a picture for what the coastline is. New York City, New Yorkers. Anybody ever visited New York City? A couple people have visited that you might recognize. We have our own little slice of the Big Apple here in Ketchikan. We're turning right now onto Park Avenue. Uh, spinning into the real thing. I think if you squint your eyes just right, you can see the Lady of Liberty in some of those trees. And speaking of liberty, check out this American flag painted by Scott Lebedo on his tour across the country. We have one American flag in every state across the country. Catch Can has two of them, bless you. Now it's one of my favorite parts. They dredge the mud flat, they turn it into Harvard today. That's on our left hand side. On our right hand side is my favorite part of Catch Can, the old red light district. If we were to follow Mary Man's Trail, this is where it would open up at. So this wooden walkway is the other side of Mary Man's Trail. Now in its heyday, the red light district had 26 board now on the right hand side we're going to pass by the catch can city sign proclaiming us alaska's first city and the salmon capital of the world you guys remember in juno they, they they said they were the salmon capital of the world didn't they they're still on about that but we have the sign so i think that settles that official we're also alaska's first city as you approach geographically how to on top of it because that has something to do with the record that it holds but once we go through it, I'll tell you why it's in the Gizmo World Records. Let's make as much noise as we can as we drive through. Are you ready? One, two, three. Right now we have an excellent opportunity. There we 
go. We're in the water now. We have an excellent opp opportunity because we're so close to some fishing vessels. Uh, talk about the fishing vessels. Right here, dead ahead of us, is a first stainer. And we're sort of at our two o'clock position. We feel like this candy in that blue boat right there is the gill that I want to point him out now because it's a pretty rare gill letter. You can see that candy in that blue boat right there has a school. There is one more catching in duck tube bags on my starboard side. So just arrived. Right. So friends, I already finished my tour and I'm going to my cabin now because it's sand outside. And I really had a very great time with Captain and the tour guide, they were awesome. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe my channel and I will see you in my another vlog. Goodbye and take care.